Welcome to this Lee Daniels Art Quick Tip Tutorial Simple Animated Text in After Effects Here we have three text layers arranged in a very simple design If we select them all and adjust the scale you'll see that they all scale from this pivot point which is automatically placed at the bottom center of the layer To move the pivot point select the top layer and choose the pan behind tool or press Y on the keyboard. Select the pivot point and move it to the top right of your text. Now when we alter the scale, the layer will scale from that point. So we're going to move along in the timeline, set a keyframe for the scale, move back in the timeline and change the size to zero. Now when we play through, the layer will animate from that point. Moving on to the next layer, still using the pan behind tool, move the pivot point to the top left of that layer, choosing any point you prefer. Now this layer will animate from that point. We'll just move this animated layer above the text layer to keep them in order. And now the same as before, Set a keyframe along the timeline, move back to the start of the timeline and change the scale to zero. Now when we scrub the timeline, both layers are animating from zero to their final place in the design. Finally, choose the third layer. Again with the pan behind tool, move your pivot point to its desired location. This time I'll go for the top center set a keyframe at the final point of the timeline, move to the beginning and change the scale to zero. Now we have the three text layers all animating from different points, but to make it more interesting, we're going to add a slight bounce and an offset. To create the bounce, move a few points past the final keyframe and then copy and paste the end keyframes. Move back to the previous keyframe, select them all, and then select one of the scale values, and on the keyboard press the up arrow, which will just add a slight bit of scale for each layer. With that keyframe selected, right click, and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease this will soften the transition of the keyframe. So now when you play through, there will be a slight bounce to those layers. You can also add an easy ease to the last keyframe to smooth it out. To very simply offset the animation, select all keyframes in the last two layers and move them along to the end point of the first layer and then select all keyframes in the final layer and move the start point to the end point of the layer before. So now when you play through, the text will animate in sequence. You can very quickly alter the speed of the animation by selecting all keyframes, holding down the Alt key and stretching the keyframes in the timeline. If you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what techniques you'd like to see in future tutorials. Thanks for watching.